Okay, I've just been joined by the runner-up in the women's 1500 metres. It's Lisa Dabrisky. But nice little sprint burn up there between you and Hannah. Great to see after you know Stacey Smith taking it out. I'm actually you didn't want to come second, but you know your thoughts on on today's run, Lisa. Oh, you know I was desperate to win that race um, in the last hundred metres, and I think perhaps a little bit too desperate. Okay. <laughs> so I pushed a little bit too hard, but you know credit to Hannah, she was fantastic, and I, I wasn't strong enough to kind of stick with her. So um, I'm really pleased with the performance, but like I say, it's always nice to kind of win a race rather than come second. Definitely. I was just talking to Anna, obviously Stacey Smith. I don't know if you were prepared for that, but you know it was quite a surprise. It wasn't as big a surprise for everyone taking out so fast. But what was your thinking immediately when you saw that was happening? Oh. It was obviously going to be quite quick from the get-go. Of course. I mean, I, I mean, I was expecting a really very slow race, um, similar to last year, and um, I was taken a bit by surprise, you know, when Stacey went for it. And um, you know, hats off to her. You know, she's not got the A standard, and she really wanted to go and impress the selectors and you know put herself on the line. And anybody could have kind of you know jumped along in the pack and tried to sprint for home she's got she's got the speed she's got the tools there to do that but I mean you have to give somebody that's prepared to go and do that an awful lot of credit of and course, for yeah. someone so young as well I mean she's only 21 to have that confidence and bravery I really admire definitely it was great to see you talking so positive about like say your fellow competitors just focus on you yourself because really you haven't raced that much obviously or inevitably not being funny it comes at least the risk has always got a few problems you know but to be fair you have done a lot more running perhaps than previous years and you, have, you want to just break down how the season's been going and moving forward hopefully now into debut yeah I mean I mean the build up in Stonebridge was fantastic and um, everything was going so well and then I got this little issue with my, it's always my lower back that I struggle with and um, it kind of affects the left side of my leg and it kind of didn't help last year after falling from Zurich um, which prevented me racing the Commonwealth Games. So I sort of had um, bursitis on my glute medius and a slight strain and kind of, I'm taught like slightly frayed the terrace ligaments. There's a lot okay. going on yeah, around that sure. left hip area and um, it kind of just shuts down on me completely and um, I can't run, I just can't move my legs so okay. that happened 12 days before Rome so I was lucky to kind of make the start line there and um, it happened again slightly afterwards as well so I've had so much input, physio input, medical input and um, I really feel like I'm starting to kind of get like, those motor patterns back and that like, movement back again and feeling a little bit more like myself so it's been a struggle but nowhere near as bad as the past couple of years so I'm kind of positive about it. Yeah, no, well, obviously you've got a great team behind you and like I say you've got things on moving forward now. Yeah. Heading into today, you people are going to talk about, you know, two years ago you were so close to that gold medal. What, what's your thoughts and hopes as you head now into those championships? Oh, you know, um, I'd love to go and improve on the silver medal. I've still got four weeks and um, I feel like I am somebody that can turn things around very, very quickly and I feel a lot of that is because I am quite inhibited by my mechanics and once I actually manage to fix that and strengthen that, I sort of make big jumps forward. So I'm kind of hoping, you know, I'm not 100% there yet in terms of, you know, this back. I'm still running with a lot of taping and having an awful lot of input and um, hopefully if I can reduce that and kind of keep progressing forward, I'll get to where I want to be. Definitely. Well, we've all seen you've proved on the biggest stage that you are a performer and you will be there. Hopefully with Hannah, even not too far in front or not too far behind. Exactly. So it's great Definitely. for British sport. It's, it's fantastic for British sport. Yeah, I really spoke to everyone on Race of Bars. It's really good. Well, congratulations on your run today, Lisa. Thanks, Thanks so much for talking. Thank you very much. Thank you.